I'm going to change the timing gear in this 1929 Model A Ford. You can see what the gear should look like. This is a fiber timing gear. And since I don't know the condition of the gear in this truck, I'm going to change it to an aluminum gear. Got a few things collected up for this job. Here's the aluminum timing gear fiber timing gear if I need it. I'm putting on a new aluminum fan. There's the rope seal for the timing gear cover, plunger, and spring. New timing gear nut, plus the socket to install it. There's some gaskets, sealer, thread locker for the fan. There's a nice section in the red Les Andrews book on installing a timing gear and, of course, the Burt's Model A catalog if I need it. I removed the radiator, hood, front splash apron, and fan blade. Now, you don't have to do that, but it probably makes it a lot easier to get to that timing gear cover. I removed the generator wires and then the generator and then put a floor jack underneath the oil pan to support the engine. And then remove these two front motor mount bolts and the four frontmost oil pan bolts. I had to turn the wheels toward the driver's side in order to get to those oil pan bolts. Seven bolts holds the timing gear cover on. You can see the old timing gear ready to separate. Somebody's been at it with hammer and chisel, which is what they do when they don't have the proper tool to remove that knot. You can see that I've lined up the timing marks for top dead center. What's left of the old gasket, which I'll replace, and the plunger and spring, which put a little pressure on the camshaft. Of course, I had to use a gear puller to get the gear off. The gear only goes on one way. Those two pins make sure of that because they're off-center. Make sure the timing marks line up. Washer. Nut. And here's the proper tool to install that. Not a hammer and chisel. Put a rag in the gears. Torque it down to 100 pounds. As a sanity check, I position the timing gear such that the timing pin when placed through the hole of the timing gear cover is at the correct position. Now over to cylinder number one. Shine a flashlight down in. Make sure the piston is at top dead center. If it's off, piston will be down into the cylinder. This looks like it's at top dead center, so I think we're good. Got a little grease on the gears for startup and on the plunger. New gasket and Permatex sealer. Rope seal that's been soaking in oil. So, I'm ready to bolt this up. One more sanity check before installing the radiator and generator. I reattached the front motor mount, lowered the floor jack, rechecked the timing, 
put the timing pin back where it belongs. So let's see if it runs. Oh yeah. All put back together, the radiator, shell, hood, front splash apron, everything's together and running nicely. You can almost hear a slight whirling sound from that aluminum timing gear, but it is very slight, you can hardly hear it. So glad that I changed out this fiber gear. When you hold it up, you can see light coming through it, so it was ready to fail. Glad I put that new aluminum gear in, it will last forever.